For the past few years, I've been an iOS only type of person, but lately I've switched to being an Android user full time. And ever since I've been completely in love with the colorful, comfortable look of Material U and all of the design elements that come with it. The only thing that has bothered me so far about the Android experience as a whole is that I cannot find a good Reddit app that adheres to that Material U design. So far, I've used Infinity and Joey for Reddit. Both clients are great in their own way, don't get me wrong, but they don't give me that Android 12 feel that I'm looking for. Basically, I want a Reddit app that can visually look right at home on a Pixel 6, and so far I've only found Karma for Reddit that is sticking to that Android 12 design language, and I want to talk about it today with you guys. I feel like the first thing I have to get out of the way is that this app is in early access, and much of what we see here could be subject to change, and I will get into that and the future of the app a little bit later in the video. What you need to know now is that visually, the app looks great, but is not feature complete. That's why I say the design interface is the biggest reason that I'm even talking about this app. And I like Karma particularly because a ton of Android 12 elements are everywhere in this app, from the animations that give you feedback to the simple, flat, modern interface that is easily scalable across other screen sizes. And the Android 12 feature you might recognize the most is Material U, which is inspired heavily by the Pixel 6, where your accent colors in the operating system will generate based on your wallpaper. For Karma, this means that your accent colors will change based on the cover photo of whichever subreddit you're browsing. So in the Star Wars subreddit, for example, you get this light red accent color. For the Android subreddit, you get green and so forth. Also, for a deeper level of customization, the front page will change color based on the wallpaper you have, which is pretty cool, by the way. And if you use light mode, the subreddit itself will have a slight hue shift, which is a nice touch. In my opinion, using Material U in this way is a pretty cool concept that I don't think I've seen other Reddit clients take advantage of, and I'm just really happy to see it here. I know I told you guys earlier that Karma for Reddit is more form over function at the moment, and since this is technically a review, I wanted to let you know about what was missing, as well as the future of the app as a whole. We know the app is still in beta, which is normally not a problem, but in this case, a solid 60% of the features just straight up are not implemented yet. On top of that, I believe the last update we got was around six months ago in December of 2021, and the last time we heard from the developer in general working on this project was about three months ago. The dev did state the app is not dead, which is great, and they are still working on it, but due to some personal issues, development might be a bit slower than expected. So yes, while this is a review, I do feel like as a tech enthusiast, this has enough potential to at least talk about with you guys. It seems like a honest little side project made by a normal guy like you or me and showing some support by downloading the app and giving some feedback and showing some love might motivate the developer to have a more open communication with us on what's going on. I thought it would be a perfect moment to get into the things that I like and dislike about this client. First, I want to talk about the likes just because I enjoy leading with positivity and I just want to spread the good word first before you get into everything that's not so great about this app. And for me, it's the UI. I think it's the cleanest Android Reddit app that we've seen in a long time. Even outside of Material U, there's a lot to offer here in terms of thoughtful, slick looking animations. And while they're not nearly as smooth as I would like them to be, I love seeing them in general and I think it makes it more engaging when you're navigating through the app, pressing buttons and flashy things react due to you pressing those buttons, just like an Android 12. It's one of those things that puts character in a monotonous task such as tapping or scrolling, and I can totally see why Google is moving towards this for their devices. Also, something I noticed recently was this little drawer where you can pop in and out of the last post you were looking at. Pretty cool feature, I will say. And the final thing I absolutely love about this app is no ads. And yeah, it probably shouldn't have ads anyway since it's early access, but still, I do want to give props where it's due. Regarding the dislikes I have with this app, a lot of this is revolved around features just simply not being implemented yet, so just keep that in mind. With that said though, there are a few issues I have with the app that aren't entirely feature focused that I just want to go over real quick. The easiest thing to point out is the way you upvote posts. If you're a lurker like me, you're probably upvoting all the time, and on Karma, you have to long press the comment and then hit the upvote button. It's not a huge deal, and I'm not trying to complain about it too, too much, but it is kind of annoying to not be able to just upvote in one single interaction like you can do in Apollo for iOS, for example. And the other main issue I have is with performance. And I know the app is still in beta, but these beautiful animations lose a lot of their flair when they're all choppy like this. 
Unfortunately, this happens on all the devices that I've tested this on. I've tried the LG G8, the Essential Phone, my Galaxy S8 Plus, the Razer Phone 2. I know they're all old phones, but still, all of them do this occasional stuttering, which is really annoying. Not to mention, there is also a ton of reports on seeing this with newer phones, like the Pixel 6 as well. Something else that I don't like is how the app frequently opens posts in a browser instead of the interface itself. I think other Reddit apps do this too, so don't get all crazy, but I just wish it wasn't the case here in this one. And I know I already said that the app was in early access, but I did want to highlight some of the missing features as well. In this case here, I just want you to know what you're getting into before you install this app. In this case, it's probably easier to say what is implemented versus what is not, but for the sake of entertainment, I made a small list anyways. So far, the app does not have the function to reply, the function to post flares, the function to hide posts, the function to view your inbox, the function to view your saved items, the function to view your friends list. Basically, any and all social features are not implemented at this point, which makes this app an introvert's dream. And as the dev said, this app is basically best for casual browsing at most, which I 100% agree with, by the way. For me personally, if the developer can start communicating more frequently, I'd say this app is totally worth installing and just keeping up on development. So if this looks interesting to you, download Karma, send the dev team a message sharing your feedback in hopes that we can start getting some more information on the future of this Reddit client. And guys, that's pretty much it. This was just a short video really meant to spread awareness of the existence of this app and while at least giving you a quick overview on what to expect. I think Karma for Reddit has a ton of potential and I would love to see it completed someday. In the meantime, check it out, see if it's something you're interested in. And with that said, guys, I am getting out of here. Also, I just wanted to throw out a quick thank you for everybody that stuck around over the past few months. While my content output was lacking, I was currently getting settled into a new job. Thankfully, this new job is much, much less stressful than my previous job, so I expect to have more time and energy to invest in making content, which I ultimately love to do anyways. I'm having a great time making videos, I'm having a great time building this community, and I would just honestly just love to keep the momentum going. YouTube's an awesome place, you guys are awesome, and I'm literally just having a great time. So uh, I'm going to start working on some more content right now, so subscribe if you want to stick around and see that, and thank you so much for watching. This has been Jordan Floyd, and I will see you in the next one.